Hello guys, here's a tiny follow-up um, to SCP-87. For those of you who missed the ending, um, it's sort of this dude here. Um, I'm not going to approach him too much because he fires some arms out, but if you can make out the face in the distance... Um, a lot of people have said that this guy isn't the end. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try and jump over these railings and sneak past him. But he may dive forward and get me. But yeah, I've actually made it past the monster. A lot of people said he wasn't the end. So I'm in new territory again and potential to... Get scared, eyes up there still. So yeah, again, I'm probably going to get a bit creeped out now because I have no idea what could happen. Whether he's going to dive down from the floor above or... Something. But the thing is, I sort of see this now as a game. I've played it like too much in my free time and like to get down here I basically just jumped on the staircase like this which takes like all the scare factor out of it um, like just doing that and again now even the shadows I can sort of see them on the wall before they come and get me which again takes away from the experience and I'm just looking now on the walls it's one of those things see where when you see them they cannot be unseen although I am curious to see what happens to this Guy. In fact, yeah, I'm just going to run down because I'm not getting scared anymore, so it's sort of a bit of a waste. This is just uh, the shadow, or oh, there were a shadow there, it just disappeared. I don't know if you saw it. But yeah, it's basically just I want to see what happens after the monster. I've been told something does, so just going to give it a trial. Um, I think I've met the monster on about floor 30. Just jump back up the stairs, have a look. Wow, yeah, 439, so I did meet him quite soon. And, yeah. and again, I'm not sure now. I'll probably go down to floor 100, but I am just literally going to do this to get down. It's cheating, it's absolutely lame as hell, but I've already done my blind let's play of it. There's a shadow there, did you see it? So yeah, I'm not sure now what the monster's going to be, or if he's going to even change, or whatnot, but just absolutely flying down these floors. It's quite fun. The thing is, I did this once, and, well, I've done it a few times, actually. I meant to record this a couple of times now, but whenever I've got to the monster, I've accidentally fucking, like, either hit escape to tab out and record, instead of pressing alt and tab. Or I've accidentally slid down the rail and you can sort of slide on it. You don't mean to, it's just how the game's coded. And, like, fell into him, so to speak. One of them did really scare me because I didn't fuck me. Like, see, again, that scared me. I didn't have time to look, see if there was a shadow. And because you're sliding down a rail and it, like, 100 mile an hour. It can be a little creepy. I'm just trying to make sure I don't see the monster again if it comes sort of follows me down. Like I said, floor 100 and I'm going to stop. I probably should have just start the recording back then. In fact, yeah, I will. I've got frogs loaded now, so... I like the fact my mouse is bang in the middle. That's how little I've been sort of turning properly. But yeah, join me if anything else happens. Hopefully I get time to film it. But shadow. See it on the wall. See? So yeah, join me in a sec. Right, we're back. Um, there's another version of the monster. Um, I can't see what floor this is. But I'm just going to sneak past him again. Hope it lets me. Shit, 